Hello, and welcome to another installment of World of Final Fantasy. As always, I am your host, William Yogi Ox Burgon. Thank you, streamer, for watching. Tonight, part three of the train graveyard. Died going up against the Mercrits in the secret area, so I've now got to start at the beginning and run my way back to them. So we'll see how this goes. And considering how things look, it's possible I'm going to run into Odin and possibly Doom Train. We'll see how well that happens, or if that happens. So, by the way, Thing 2's off over here talking and whatnot, so he's definitely in the house. So let's get started. World of Final Fantasy! Yes, sir -y. Gotta get all the Mercury beat. Wasn't so bad. Down they go. Oh yeah, Venom Needle's at top. No trouble at all! I'll take that for a win. Train graveyard still. <laughs> Thought I had a thunder, but I guess not. <clears throat> I've been away from the prison for a while now. Three. Nope, already got the shadow one. The only thing I'm missing is the uh, water or ice.
it's already maxed and I can't unlock that yet. Sorry, live, I can't talk right now. Is Actually, now that I think about that, I could talk right now. Pick that up for me. One person's watching. the haste, that's what I want, but I gotta get through that first. Is he maxed? Yes, he is maxed. Onward. Welcome, streamer. So much weaker. That was a good predictable.
back on and ride. I really wish they would make these areas more explorable. I look at the bottom area down there, and I'm just kind of going, dude, just think of all the chaos yeah. down there. Victory! to do it.
Yes. Sandworm's got a big mouth. Still need to go kill like nine of those. Really? Okay, so I did come over here.
I don't know, man. We'll see. Do it. Good job. I'll take that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to reactivate that switch. Pardon me, YouTube. I'm gonna save real quick. Save me from having to run all that again. And of course I get attacked right off the bat. Alrighty. Oh, it's big boy. Oh. oh yeah, he doesn't have that's an Yes. That's a sandworm. That's the only different, that's the only version there is. I get done doing this broadcast, I'll get you a game. way I found to kick their butt and get them unstacked. It does take a while, however.
Bringing up the wrong ramp. <clears throat> Two of them. Oh no. I'll take that. That was a good fight. That wasn't so bad. sleep or hit for big hits. Right. I'll take All that right. for you. All right. It's not that far away. Alright, time to mirror jewel lawn lure. We will trade it with resist stun. Sounds a good idea. Because I really don't want to have to fight those guys again. They are a pain in the butt. Sorry, YouTube, I gotta save. Broadcast always cuts out whenever it saves. I find that highly annoying. You're the level 40. You're the level 43. So who are we fighting? Dude, it's on. Let's make this good. This is level 43. I 
don't they? Oh, these guys actually pack a decent punch. Man, Come on. No. Streaming right now. Afterwards, maybe. enough stars to do that.
use that right here, but I'll take it. And they're gonna reinflate stuff. Stack. Good job. Okay, that was a level 40 kind of fight. Cause that sucked. Definitely don't want to have to deal with that again. Now it really makes me wonder what this level 43 is going to be over here. Save again. And now time to go deal with a level forty three. Wrong ramp. Come on. There we go. Watch this one beat Odin. That's gonna suck. Okay, here we go. I won't hold back. Oh, red caps. I've got this. Those guys.
wasn't so bad. Okay, that was unexpected. Level 35. I'm gonna go save first. Cardinal rule of Final Fantasy. When something mysterious shows up, save. But it's a level 35. Which, that in itself is kind of weird. I just dropped a level 43, but it was red caps, so... Hmm. But we do know that after beating the vampire, Odin is in the house. Check my part two of the train graveyard video for that. So it's possible this is Doom Train, and then it will be replaced with probably like a level 50 Odin. Let's make this good. Doom. dark attacks to create a prismality. Okay, I can do that. I have dark attacks. Oh crap, I don't have dark attacks. Oh no. are all elementals. They don't do dark damage. Um, no. Perfect! That doesn't count. Well, if I've seen nightmare, if I've seen nightmare here, that potentially means I will see it again. I said potentially. Whoa, he moved. All right. Oh yeah. But nightmare would have been Odin. Obtained a nightmare memento. So I will be able to unlock Odin somehow. Not really sure where or what. Getting close. Level forty two. One more level. Oh, Zaffir's got seven. Yeah, I know Tam is sitting on 25, but I can't do a dang thing with it. That is what I was 
was looking for earlier. Do a quick U-turn. Then we get to where the battlefield will be. Was. <sighs> be really cool if you run up here and try to leave and Doom Train shows up. That would be awesome. And that would be the train graveyard in the distance where we just were. Hmm, the path finally opened up. That goes to the train graveyard. Ooh, I wonder something. Just for kicks. stuff on their heads, of course. Oh, looks like everyone's back to normal now. Another day has been the save. Alrighty then. Next up is... What were we after again? The Key of Tides. Will Rain and the Long succeed in their noble adventure? Stay the tuned. Tama, hey, who gave you permission to cut to a commercial break? Put us back on the air. And now... Back to the adventures of Lon and Rain and Tama and a bunch of mirages and Lon. Oh, whatever. So, what are we doing? Anybody? Should we go pay one last visit to Celeste and Sid before we head out? Welcome to Tome Town. We've got books and, well, that's about it, but I hope you enjoy it here. So that's the side end. That's the big entrance. That's the side entrance. <laughs> I just raised my civic rank again. It won't be long before I'm living it up in a castle now. All work and no play makes you go home with lots of money. That's our motto, kiddos. Interesting motto. Oh, so you made it through unscathed? Not long after all the trouble started going down, this person with a ghastly pale face attacked me. I thought I was a total goner. But then this total dreamboat with this huge sword came along and rescued me. I wish I could thank him somehow, but I have no idea where he went afterwards. Hey, the Kabuki mask guys. Monitor. Not right now. I was attacked by this mirage, and apparently turned into a vampire. Of course, I can't remember any of it. 
but it is really scary to think I might have stayed that way forever. you say? A temple in the deep? Well, I believe I've heard of such a temple in the Besaid region, directly above us. So, about this Besaid place... It sounds like it's the continent that's directly above us! Good. We won't do any falling to get there. Be whatever it's called, here we come! No jokes about B.O. this time? Oh, good. By the by, do you buy into this so-called Crimson Prophecy? Um... You have to keep in mind that we remember almost nothing about Grimoire. Azure, Crimson, all this prophecy stuff, it just sounds like jibber-jabber to us. Yeah, huh This is my first time in Grimoire, too, so I don't get it the either. Yep, sails over my head. Yeah, well, Lon, entire navy sail over your head. I suppose that it's fine as long as you're taking it with a grain of salt. But do allow me to add a word of caution. You see, while this library contains every ancient book you can imagine, not one of them mentions anything about a crimson prophecy. Wow. So even with all these books, you're still missing one? No. Anything old enough to be called a proper prophecy would have to be in our archives. Huh? Then why isn't it? Indeed. I'm certain there's a good explanation, which we just aren't thinking of. Probably that it's completely bogus, but that would be my guess. The town seems to be back on its feet. Still, how can they care so little? Do they not mind their home in chains? Yeah, I guess they just don't care unless it's actively hurting them, huh? It's worse. Some of the poor fools are even thankful for it. They think it's Bahamut that will keep them safe from vampires. Maybe some people just think life under Federation rule is easier. But is it truly easier? When Bahamut takes control, they promise you you'll remain free. But that's not true at all. What does that mean? The whole catch about joining the Federation is that you're asked to become an architect. Someone willing to build a better tomorrow. Okay, but how do they convince people? Well, part of the appeal is that it gives you something to be proud about. But that's far from the only incentive. You see, once you're an architect, you get to live in a cathedral and perform your duties amidst the utmost luxury. You're kept far away from war and strife, never wanting for food, and free to live out the rest of your days in leisure. Oh, dude! No wonder so many people are lining up for the job! Sign me the up for the pampered and well-fed crew! Yeah, but don't you think it sounds a little too good to be true? Exactly. Any sane person can see it. Uh, yeah. No one should fall for that stuff, right? I can't imagine what goes through their heads! Ah, but, if you voice your suspicions, or reject their luxury, the Federation pushes you right to the bottom. You become dead to the world. Yes, we've seen them. People like that. So no one wants to dig deeper, or think harder about it. They nod their heads, oblivious to what it means. Better to take the less complicated path, than justify it by only hearing the things you want to hear. It's truly maddening when you consider it. The consequences are right there, but they refuse to look. Unfortunately, Celeste, there's a lot of people out there who don't know how to think things through. It really is so sad. How very true. But hey, once you've made up your mind about stuff, it's not an easy thing to back down. Folks would say, you know, uh, um... Oh, yeah. Online MMO and confection. 12, no. Wow, Lon! That does this sound like a soul-crushing dilemma. I wouldn't the one to give up candy. Uh, I've heard some dumb things, but read it on a scale of dumb to ten, that right there was a dumb Evan. Oh, and I think the phrase he was looking for, it's lacking conviction. Oh, I've been new 
that? Oh, me too. Then why did you say it? <laughs> you are a funny bunch. Hey, there's only one weirdo around, and that's this guy. Huh? But she said funny. And I am not weird. Oh, you are both weird. What? Dude! Yay! I'm the only one who's not the weird! Oh, sorry. You're included. Scary stuff, right? But if you run stacked, you might be able to keep the damage to a minimum. Sorry, YouTube, gotta save. Now the million dollar question, how to get there. Said way over there, where we will probably run into Yuna again, if possible. for some other cutscene. I've got a favor to ask. There are two special spell stones I need more than anything. Please, can you find them for me? Wonderful. Okay, the two spell stones I'm looking for are a wind spell stone and an earth spell stone. Thank you so much for doing this. I had my own dreams once. And the Federation branded me a derelict. Now I'll never get to see my dreams come true! Hmm, somebody who thinks for themselves. I still remember a little bit from when the trouble started and I got turned into a vampire. I think this might sound a little creepy, but it actually felt kind of good. Yeah, you're a touch on the weird. I'm assuming we have to go in there eventually at some time. That's the side entrance. Ah, cat doesn't speak. Ghosty boy doesn't speak either.
Hey, you there. Do you have a minute? I've got a little request. See, there's been a mirage infestation in the train graveyard. Is there any chance you could take care of them before they set their sights on our town? You'll do it? All you have to do is head to the train graveyard and take out a few mirages. Thanks. We're counting on you. Well, that's easy enough. Chapter 18. The Fell Spell and the Quacho Queen. out there. It's definitely not Midgar. We know where that is. Let's help speed this up, shall we? how slow this is. So that's four.
One phoenix down. Always good to have. Thin them up. Now the train graveyard should be back to its old self. Thanks. This is for you. Hmm. Slow seat. train whistle look over there I think I see some lights that weren't there before that's the north of us maybe the train will take us to the upper the quantum hmm interesting train station Hey, these tracks don't go anywhere. Maybe they're doing construction. Not, not. Uh, not him. Yes, me. If the conductor is here, then the train must be up in the running. But like, how can it be in so many places? Who's kept touring the other trains? I'm everywhere my passengers need me. The nitty gritty technical details are a trade secret. Of course Hush, they are. Nice huh? try. Oh, you. So, uh, Mr. The Conductor, sir, is the train running? Does it go to the upper of the continent? Of course it does. Go on, then. All aboard. But first, your tickets, please. A mission right here, huh? Ugh. My dance moves just don't have that certain something anymore. What is it that I'm missing? Oh! You're Mirage Keepers, aren't you? Your timing is perfect! I've heard that some Mirages out there are real lookers. If you find any Mirages like that, could you show them to me? I need some new inspiration. You will? Oh, thank you so much! I just know this is going to be a huge help to me. She's got to be graceful and cute and... On second thought, never mind. Any female mirage should do the trick. A female mirage that I have already... Oh, she's so graceful and cute! That's it! Now I know exactly what it is I've been missing! And it's Which all one? thanks to you. This is for you. No need to be shy. Oh, uh, well, see you around. Well, I'm glad I... Had it done already. Even though I'm not exactly sure what female mirage she was looking for. Turbo Ether is always nice. Chocobo Girls special promotion. Say the magic words to the Chocobo Girls and they'll give you fireworks. The magic words are meow meow chow choo choo chow. Okay. Right! Tickets, please! Sure, board the Draw. train. Now we're getting into the world of Squall. We would like to take a moment now to kindly remind all our passengers to remain in their seats facing forward. Please fasten your seatbelts at this time. Seatbelts on a train? What are they for? Oh, nice. Hmm? 
three, two, lift off! Rocket power train, gotta like that. World's transportation have to be so. Wow! Huh? Wow! What? It's called we're underwater. Wow! Oh. An underwater place. Looks like a good place to grab some Pokemon, too. I'm joking, but there were a couple of big fish that were quite like the Pokemon type. Uh, the Sade. Aloha! And a warm welcome to the Empyrium. Now loving this weather. Aloha, and welcome to Grimoire's Tropical Empyrium. I have no idea how to react to that, so I'm just gonna ignore you. Now, what do you say we have for that town over there? Beautiful beaches. The arch back there is rather interesting. If an enemy slows you in battle, you won't be able to take action as often. Haste magic will fix you lickety split, but if you don't have that, you can still recover by using a gold hourglass. Here, this one's for you. Thank you. Sin should be around here somewhere. It's Besaid after all. Okay, the sunken temple. Oh yeah, everyone around here has heard about it. But since no one's ever been there, who can say if it actually exists? Okay, we've got a temple in the deep to find. Why don't we start by asking around? Say happy domu kaine! Did it work? I hear shouting those words turns you into an expert diver. Hmm. Aloha! Sightseeing, are we? Well, welcome to the Port of Bassay. It's not the biggest town in the world, but it is nice and laid back. You two are gonna love it here. Just kick back and relax. Sorry for a second, you two. I'm gonna save. I got got a small squall line blowing through of some interesting weather. Yes, dude. What do you mean interesting? Okay. It's just a fast-moving frontal boundary, kiddo. What do you mean? It's a fast-moving frontal boundary. People say that someone. We're gonna get wet here in a minute. Do you not hear the thunder? But I've never met anyone like that. Sometimes. This just isn't enough. If only I had... Wait! You wouldn't happen to be Mirage Keepers, would you? I'm looking for some fish scales. You wouldn't happen to have any you can spare, would you? <sighs> Thanks a bunch! Now I'm finally confident enough to give her my letter. Mm -hmm. What do I need them for? Well, I'm going to use them to decorate my proposal letter. It's kind of a family tradition. We believe that when you ask someone to marry you, giving them fish scales will ensure they say yes. Don't laugh. I get it. Up, I know that fish scales aren't exactly the first thing that comes to mind when people think about romance. But if you ever really looked at them, they're one of the most beautiful things out there. 
Anyway, you step really carefully, me out. dude. Here, this is for you. <laughs> yeah. Two. Was there a sale going on? Oh, dude, score. Yeah. No. Thank you. Uh, you gotta love it when Live Gaber shows up and brings the Texas water with him. <sighs> wow. Do you really want to be grounded for the weekend with a comment like that? Like the sole of your shoe or a person's sole. S O U L. Uh, yeah. We ate at uh, the tree lighting. That was tonight. So. Ah, the sunken temple, huh? Boy, wouldn't it be something if it were real? I would actually want to live there, though. Those were get freebies at uh, tree lighting tonight. Here, dude. Coming soon, Blitzball Tournament 23. Sign up today if your team has what it takes. You know, if they put Blitzball in in World of Final Fantasy, that would be awesome. At the bottom of the ocean? Oh, did you get my text? You'd like to know more about the sunken temple? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid there just isn't much I can tell you. I've met all sorts of visitors here during my lifetime, but huh? you're the first to ever ask me about the sunken temple right off the bat. Here in a minute. Well, it sounds like everyone's heard about the temple we're after. Thing is, none of these people have actually been there. What'd you expect? It's the temple in the deep. You think people would call it that if it was swimmable? From the look of it, the train probably doesn't stop there either. Huh? Pan... to Logist. Always here to assist? Wow! A person that studies the pants? They think of the everything! Yeah, pants must be serious business. It's Pantologist, dummy. The prefix is pan. Cookware, huh? Neat. Not those pans. As in all. Like, they do a little of everything. Oh. Well, if they do a little of everything, then maybe they can do a little of helping us get down to that sunken temple. Let's hit the pants. W wait, Mon! That looks like the place. But see, I wasn't ready to go there yet. I wanted to go to the shoreline first. Hmm. Looks like a battle arena. Turtles! 
I foresee something going here that is now currently blocked by those rocks. Whatever am I going to do? My son insists upon seeing some mirages up close, but I have no idea what he's talking about. Okay, so it's white and fluffy, and it kind of looks like a tiny dog, but it isn't really a dog. Uh, I say, do you think you might be able to Dark find Knight. the one he's talking about for him? I'll make it well worth your while. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I wasn't thinking of that, actually. I was thinking of uh, uh, Heaven's War 2.0, the fight at the end. Um. Okay, so it's white and... I'm afraid I just don't know which one he means. Can you figure it out and... It's white and fluffy and looks like a dog, but it isn't. Not exactly sure, but since I don't have it, it's obviously not the Mew. Hmm. So much to do, so little time. Are you eating? Are you eating? What's in the fridge? talking to well 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 finally we run into her the test will surely end in success Of ingredients short. Service, please! <laughs> Lon, ever heard of manners? Who goes there? Oh my, I rarely cross paths with a giant pair. So tell me, are you the pan mighty person from the ad? Yes, that's the gist. How can I assist? The sunken temple? Yes. I don't know, maybe you could give us a magic spell, you know, something that lets us breathe underwater, maybe some magic pants? Breathe underwater? Whether it's gills or spells you want, a solution can be met, but the sea is its own kind of hell, you're almost certain to regret. The currents will leave yep. you blind, and it's so big you'll be bored out of your mind. Th that's discouraging. Hang on, we can handle a little certain regret. Uh, yeah. If you know a solution, then we'd really appreciate it if you could help us out. So come on, please. Hmm. Well, if you're quite certain that that is your desire, perhaps you're just what I require. Excuse me? Excellent. We'll start with the dunce. <laughs> you see, you can't do two total losers at once. Use your head. You wanted to swim like the fishes, you said. But a fish out of water is soon to be dead. Are you some kind of murderer? Oh my. After I do you a favor, this is how you choose to repay me. My dear, don't make me angry. Eh, this will be a threshold fight. We 
please forgive me? No! Come on! Unknown. Mega Elixir. Mega Phoenix. Unimprisonable. Of course. Reflect is something to have when you fight her. But I got a sneaking suspicion it's a fight you can't win. decided to awake. Well, off you go with these two flakes. Titus. You got it. Yeah, that would be awesome. Because they have gills and can only breathe underwater. Yeah, she cast a spell on them, giving them gills so they could breathe underwater to get to the Temple of the Deep. Could be that too. Ooh, that is a very nice underwater area. Basically. Oh, check it out! We're in the ocean and we're actually breathing! I hope you like it, because we can't breathe anywhere else. Don't you worry. I've been to the sunken temple a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, he does. But, just a minute. Does this mean we can't return to Ninewood Hills? Oh, you can still go the back there. Hey, I didn't know you could breathe underwater, too. Don't go to confusing me with your average mortal. I'm special. Okay, but then why didn't you just go to the temple for us? What? Are you the crazy? Every the inch between us and that key is crawling with the mirage of mirages. I mean, a barrage of mirages. If you sit mm. me in there alone, I'd yeah. be annihilated. Sorry. So, did you mean it when you said that we could go back to Ninewood Hills? Well, that place isn't just immune to the time. It can dispel the magic and other mystical manipulations. So, that means you can go back to Ninewood Hills without the choking to death. Thank goodness. Although, I guess that means we won't be able to travel anywhere else, huh? Meh. Let's just finish our dunk to the sunken temple and... Wait. If we find the key, will we change back? Oh, don't worry. Dr. Shantoto gave me the antidote to the curse. <sighs> what a relief. 
I thought we'd end up stuck like this. Wait, did you say curse? Dude! Yeah, I mean, curses are the doc's specialty. Uh, first, we've heard of that. Well, as long as she's planning on fixing us up. Sorta. You see, the doc said, Tell those twin losers the antidote costs, so bring me a Quacho Ruby or they can get lost. So good luck. I'm not crossing her. She said all that? Twin losers? What? Where does she get off calling me a loser? Lon is the loser here. You're mad about the name calling? Question for you. What the exactly is a Quacho Ruby? Oh, good point. What is a Quacho? A Quacho? Oh, there's some right over there. Their queen cries red tears, which are called Quacho Rubies. Now I see. But those sound like they must be just about impossible to get. True enough. They say she only sheds one tear every decade. The Rubies go for at least a hundred million gil. A hundred mil? Uh, I swear, that is the last time I ever consult a pantologist. Hey, uh, Titus, how come you can breathe underwater? Well, if you've tossed enough blitz balls around... Eh? What? Hmm... Eh, I'll tell you about it some other time. Oh, dude, the ocean is free roam. There's walls. This is almost this is almost like the the swim down to the mech area in uh X like you were just like you were talking about. This is a really big swim. Um, eat. Well, it's also eight thirty, so. Finally, the temple's in sight. I just realized this is probably going to be filled with water mirages, so... Hey! There it is! Are your windows open? Okay, I'll be waiting back at the surface. Good luck finding that Quacho Ruby. Yep, got it covered. Hey, just don't forget why we originally came here. You know, if we found enough of them, we could all be filthy, stinking the rich. 
Oh, I like your style, Tama. Hear that? We're gonna find a Quacho zillion rubies. I'll say it again. Don't forget why we're here. Let's just find the key, get the It's gonna blow need, in and out real and quick, for though. The antidote. Rubies, rubies, baby, I wanna be a Quacho zillion. Huh? It'll be in and out in about 30 minutes. If I understand, it's Elf. You okay? I've got this. Apologies, YouTube world, but you're here in the weather. Yeah, I can see that.
it's a different type of shark wall. Victory! Yes. She went that way. Yeah. I see a... Yes. That was close. I could feel the house shake from that. Finally got Thangata. that mean we're not underwater anymore? Then that means the curse has been... Oh. Okay, wishful thinking. Right. But like, shouldn't we be floating? Hmm... I think that this temple must have some kind of special the power. Don't ask me the how it works, but I sense some kind of force that keeps people and mirages from the drifting too far away. Hey, you're right. Something's keeping... But on the bright side, it's just like being on solid the ground. That's especially the helpful for you two, right? Also, this is just the wild guess, but... Whoa! No way! In some areas, the walls have their own the gravity, which lets us do cool the stuff like this.
Right, let's do this. Here we go! That wasn't so bad. Well, YouTube, I have made it out of the train graveyard, and I have now gotten to the sunken temple in the world of Besaid, so I'm going to wrap this up for the evening and hang out with fam. So, until next time, peace out, game on, live long, and I'll see you guys on the other side of the horizon. This is Yogi Ox, and I'm out.